Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. In this short video, I'm going to answer a question, a very common question that I get asked from my st uh, patients, from my students, from a lot of people. And what is glycogen? Because glycogen sounds too close to glucose, it sounds too close to glucagon, and it's very confusing. However, in the short video, I'll explain it very simply. So, first of all, what is glycogen? Glycogen is the storage of glucose. Basically, it's our storage of sugar for when we need it. And how we get there, we take in carbohydrates, which we get the insulin spike, and carbohydrates are broken down to glucose. Glucose is fuel for our body, sugar. Then glucose is converted to glycogen. And again, glycogen is a form of energy stored in the body for when we need it. Okay, It fuels the body's activities, and we need potassium Okay, for the storage of glycogen. So for people who are low in potassium, they're not storing glycogen from glucose. So this is why potassium is very, very important for cellular function. Also, stored energy is only, we only our body only stores about 2,000, 2000 calories of energy. Now what happens, now what happens if we take in too many carbohydrates, instead of when we hit that maximal capacity of 2,000 calories, then this is where the body converts the extra carbohydrates to fat. Okay, so our body stores to about 2,000 calories a day, and it's stored in as glycogen in two, in two places, one muscles, the other one liver. This is why liver health is so important. Now muscles, it stores 75% in the muscles, because if you think about this logically, we use our muscles every day, and we have we have to account both for muscle mass. So it doesn't matter if you're a big bodybuilder or very, very uh, tiny in stature, we are, it's, it's all relative. So again, muscles, the glycogen stored is only used by the muscle cells in of itself because muscles are very metabolically active. 25% is used by the other organs and tissues in the body, the liver, other organs, tissues, so forth and so on. So of the 2,000 calories, 1,600 calories is stored in the muscles and about 400 calories is stored in the liver. Now, we don't always need that constant intake of glucose for energy, for movement, because actually we store it. Now, in between meals, we actually create sugar from our liver and our muscle cells by a process called gluconeogenesis, okay, the formation of glucose from a source. So like in between meals, the liver and muscle, again, forms glycogen, which again, converts it to glucose, which will put in the bloodstream. And this is how we basically stay alive in between meals. Now, one caveat is, yes, we could still make sugar in between meals from a non-food source. For example, stress. When we are stressed out, our body needs sugar for fuel. Your brain needs sugar for fuel. So, so where do we pull the sugar from? Very simple. It, we increase our sugar through the, through the proteins. Proteins get converted to glycogen. Glycogen gets converted to glucose. Glucose gets shunted into the bloodstream and life goes on. So this is a short video. I just want to explain what glycogen is, the storage of glucose, of sugar, of our energy source in our body. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like these videos, please share with a friend, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. Hey, it's, over the last couple years, my YouTube channel has grown tremendously, and I can only appreciate it, the viewers who subscribe. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button to get the first up-to-date videos, or you could always Google my name, Dr. Janan Jawad, and you could go to my JDoc Real Minute page. Again, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get the most up-to-date videos, and thanks everybody who's watching. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.